Hey everyone, I got a new release wave video for you. So Microsoft just announced a public preview for the Dataverse Git integration. Um, been waiting for this for a long time, so super excited and uh, got my hands on it and I'm gonna show it off for you. Um, so there's a few uh, prerequisites for this. Um, so the first is your environment has to be enabled for early release cycle. Uh, so if we take a look at my list of environments here, there's this column for release cycle. And as you can see, most of our environments are standard because um, I believe this is a fairly new setting. And from what I could tell, you can't just update it too early, which is unfortunate. Um, and so what I had to do is I actually deleted my developer environment and then when you go to create a new one, there's a setting here for get new features early. So make sure you turn that on. And then also, if you're in the United States for this particular feature, and also I feel like for most features, um, it's only in non-US regions currently. So I actually created my new environment in Canada. Um, so I believe it's all non-US ones, um, but I've only tried Canada so far and that worked for me. Uh, so once you get it, once you, see you have a non-US environment that's early release cycle, you should be good to go. Um, and then the next part is you have to make sure you're going to make.preview.powerapps.com because this enables all the preview features. So once you have all that set up and you're in make.preview.powerapps.com, you should be able to go to your environment and go to solutions here, and you should see a button at the top for connecting to Git. Uh, so some important pieces here. So there's two ways to do this. You could do solution-based or environment-based, and you cannot change this at least for right now, that's the important piece. So once you pick environment or solution, you're stuck with it. I actually first did environment because I thought that would be better, uh, but I was not seeing anything happen. And it's probably just because it runs uh, at a certain cadence. Um, but to take a step back, so the two differences are, you can tie it to solutions so if you do that route, you can go into your solution and you can push all your changes to get uh, similar how you would just commit code uh, as a developer, right? You would, inside your solution, you can commit any of your changes and it pushes it to Git. Uh, so you can do that for any solution that you set up. Or you can set it to environment and it's supposed to just push all your customizations to get uh but i would not was not able to find a way to manually force that and so therefore i wasn't seeing anything happen but again it probably runs on a certain cadence and i didn't wait long enough uh, so what i actually did was i deleted my environment recreated it again and now i'm setting up uh with the solution based and that is going a lot better um but once you figure out which one you want to do, you come to connect to Git. I did solutions, so now it lets me pick solutions. Um, and then before this, you tie it to your ADO organization, which ADO project you want to use, which repo you want to use. Super easy. I had no issues. It automatically pulled everything in based on what I'm logged in as. I didn't have to set anything up. So super straightforward. To just a couple seconds. Um, so now I had set this POC solution up already. Let me try making a new one uh, to show you what that looks like here. So let's go, we'll call this one demo.
Okay, so let's just add, we'll add some existing stuff just to show you kind of what it looks like when it gets checked in. So we're just gonna do account. We're just gonna do everything so that it is can check more things in. Uh, and then let's also just create uh, a table as well. Let's see if we can do that quickly. Let's call it inventory. Okay, so we have a native table and a custom table. So now when you're ready to check things in, there's a new, as long as you're in the make.preview, there's a new section here, source control. Um, okay, so I have to connect. So each solution you have to connect. Uh, so here's my solution demo, pick a branch. I have this main branch. And then here's the folder that it's gonna go to inside of my branch in the repo. Let's get this connected. Okay. All right, let's see here, let's see how long this, okay. So here, it, and it's now shown me all the changes I've made inside of this solution. Uh, so, let's see. I think it's still being processed, let's see here. All right, so fast forward the video, it took a couple minutes for it to get all the changes that we did to show up. Uh, so once, oh, looks like it's still going, uh, but it's actually allowing us to commit now, which it, it didn't earlier. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click this commit. We can make a comment, uh, add a custom inventory table. All right, fast forward again, that actually took a really long time to commit these changes. Um, but as you can see, everything's gone now. So let's move over to our ADO project. So we're in our repo that we set up, our main branch. We can see the Dataverse for folder. Um, and let's try that again. Yeah, and it should be here. I just saw it, there we go. Okay, so it's broken out. Each solution has its own folder. So demo is the one we just did. And now you can see folders for the individual components in the solution. And it's even making a folder for the solution itself and putting in customizations around the solution and the publisher. Um, our solution only had those two entities, so we can see the native account and then our custom inventory. Um, so we drill in here, we have the views, we have the attributes, the ribbon, and the actual entity. And as you can notice, uh, these are all YAML files now versus XML, which is what they were previously. Uh, so that's a big change as well. Uh, hopefully, that should help merging uh, the changes because uh, XML is extremely difficult uh, to merge. Uh, that's one of the biggest issues when um, using this for Dataverse. Uh, so hopefully that YAML will make it easier to read as well, uh, but also hopefully help uh, for merging um but yeah this is what it looks like so as of right now i don't believe there's a way to then just like package this up based on uh the repo uh to package it and then use it as a solution that can then be imported i could be wrong i'm still digging into this um but even so, this is a great first step. I mean, it's still preview. They say not to use it for production. 
Um, and it's big too, because you can then uh, see the changes, right? So if I make more, if I make changes to some of these attributes and then commit those changes, I can come in here and see the history of the commits and see what changes were made, uh, which is huge because otherwise without this, we're just running blind on, you know, anybody can make any sort of com customizations in the environment and it's really difficult to know what was done, right? Um, so this is uh, definitely long, you know, waited for this for a long time now. Um, glad it's uh, slowly coming in here and I'm sure they're gonna be making a lot of updates to it and uh, we'll keep posting content around it. So thanks for watching, appreciate it.